and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking about the top 10 scary attic stories. How do you guys feel about an attic? Do you have one? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what you keep up there. While you're down there, why don't you hit thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. Also, if you want to connect with me on social media, my link is in the description box. Alright, who or what is lurking up there? Coming in at number 10, we have the convict ex-boyfriend. Okay, so you made a few bad decisions and you hook up with a person who has made even worse decisions. They're sent to jail and you think, you know what, thankfully I am free and I can live out my life on the right side of the law while they serve their time. You put them down to a bad mistake and you move on with your life. Only, well, this is where things get awkward, they end up secretly living in your attic. Ah. A woman in South Carolina found her ex who she'd broken up with 12 years ago hiding in her roof. Tracy thought that she had animals in the attic, but no. When she asked her sons to go up and check, they found a strange man living among a bundle of coats up there. It gets worse, it was discovered that he had defecated into several Route 44 Sonic cups and that he had been peeping through a vent at Tracy in her bedroom. I wonder what would have happened had her sons not scared him away. Following the incident, the man escaped, but police were seeking him for questioning. Coming in at number 9, we have slaves bound in the attic. You may have heard of the name Delaphine LaLaurie from one of our top 10 evil people lists. What this woman did with her attic was absolutely abominable. Delphine was a New Orleans Creole socialite. She had a mansion and she loved throwing a party. From the outside, she seemed like a French Quarter darling, however she was hiding a dark secret. She was keeping slaves bound up in the attic and abusing them. Things weren't much better downstairs either as she had chained her cook to the stove and was beating her with a stick. When a fire broke out at the LaLaurie home in 1834, officers went into the attic as they evacuated the house. They then found seven mutilated slaves being stretched in torture devices. Other reports say that Negro slaves were made to wear spiked collars. Delphine fled town after her depraved attic scene was found and after she left, officers dug up further bodies in the house grounds, presumably of other slaves who died in the torture room. Despite the fire damage, the house still stands in New Orleans today and it is reported that it is deeply haunted. Speaking of haunted attics, coming in at number 8, we have a ghost in the attic. Does Edward Jenner haunt a British attic? Possibly. Edward Jenner was the pioneer human who basically invented vaccination after discovering how to stave off smallpox. This man, who died in 1823 in Berkeley, UK, saved so, so many lives with his medical discoveries. Anyway, his old house in Gloucestershire has been turned into a museum, and rumour has it that the attic is haunted. In 2009, these pictures were taken of a spectre passing through. There is some debate as to whether or not the ghost is of Jenna himself. If you look very closely, it does seem like a rather portly chap sitting in a chair between two beds. The museum curator was quote unquote flabbergasted by the image. Coming into number 7, we have a snake in the attic. I do not like a snake. I know that that's sacrilege for a Slytherin to say, but they do freak me out. So it's not so much that they're slithery and slippery or you can't trust them, it's more that, you know, a lot of them can kill you by squeezing you or injecting you with fatal venom, or some can just straight up devour you. Imagine coming home to see this. Who knew? This video was uploaded to YouTube by WSPA7 News and yeah, no, no thanks. Imagine coming home to see this hellish sight. A man from Greenwood, South Carolina came home to see this and nobody's okay. You think it's a rope or something? But no, it's two snakes intertwined slithering down from the attic. It's one thing, being in the attic, it's another thing escaping from it. Get TF out of my life snakes. Spooky stuff is always being found in attics and I can't say that I'm here for it. Why don't people check their attics thoroughly to see that weird stuff isn't going on up there or there aren't any cursed items just casually hanging around waiting to strike? Why guys? So with that in mind, we are talking about one of the most horrifying things to ever have been found in an attic in my opinion. At number 6, we have the Anguished Man painting. On first look, I am baffled as to why this painting might be called the Anguished Man. He looks so friendly and pleasant. Just joking, he literally looks like he wants to suck out your soul to replace the one that he's missing. Okay, but like 
imagine finding this literal nightmare inducing gem in your attic. No thanks. The legend goes that it was painted with the artist's own blood, mixed with oil shortly before they killed themselves. The owner, Sean Robinson, was handed down the painting by his grandmother, who had it in her attic for 25 years. Blech. On the few times that Scott has been brave enough to display the picture, he and his family have reported strange goings on, such as bangs, voices, strange smells, and bad feelings. I don't like me a bad feeling. They even reported that the painting moves of its own accord. Coming into number 5, we have bats in the attic. Ok, a bat isn't anywhere near as scary as say a spooky haunted painting that moves of its own accord, sure, but finding bats in the attic can turn your existence into a real life horror story. Bats in the attic can happen and are especially common in North America. What you don't want is any bat in the attic. Why? Because it can lead to an infestation. What does that look like? Ooh, wow. I mean, even if you aren't scared of bats, it's pretty horrifying. Bats! Not only are they closely associated with Mr. Dracula himself, but actually they pose more danger than the anguished man to your health. Do you want to know where the saying bat crazy comes from? excrement or guano. This can send you crazy, it carries a fungus that when becoming airborne can make you very very sick. There are several cases of guano related deaths each year. Oh, and bats are known to carry rabies. So if there's a bat in your attic, you know it's time to call pest control. If you don't, your life maybe will turn into a horror movie. Coming in at number 4 we have live grenades. Can you imagine having functioning grenades in your attic for 40 years and never even noticing? How terrifying. In March 2014, four live hand grenades were found in the attic of a home in Oak Creek, Milwaukee. The grenades were over 40 years old and were in an unsettled and deteriorated state. The homeowners called the police when they found them and the bombs were taken to a remote location and detonated, causing what locals described as loud explosions. I'll say. You know, this list is a mixed bag of spooks and real dangers, and this one definitely falls into the latter. Coming into number three, we have cancer in the attic. If you want to hear about scary attics, let's take a moment to discuss asbestos, the silent killer in your roof. Asbestos was used as the primary insulator in homes from the mid 1900s until around the 1980s, when most countries phased it out because of its very strong link to cancer. Asbestos is illegal in Australia. But in the United States of America, it's still going, despite its link to so many deaths. One horror story comes from a St. Louis plumber who spent two days installing asbestos insulation in the attic in the 1950s, only to be told 30 years later that those two days were his death sentence that they'd caused him to develop a rare lung cancer. He sued producers WR Grace for 2.5 million, but he died shortly after. A Vox article says that 125 million people are exposed to asbestos and around 100 thousand die as a result annually. A sad tale of scandal and love up next at number 2, we have a woman locked in the attic for 25 years. Our story starts in Paris in 1876. Blanche Monnier was a 25 year old aristocratic socialite who fell in love. As we know with love, you don't always fall for the most suitable people, and the man that she fell for was an older broke gentleman who her mother thought was unfit. Despite what her mum thought, Blanche was determined to marry the man she loved anyway. Suddenly though, she vanished without a trace. Her family publicly mourned her, however, it was all a ruse. It turned out that her mother locked her in the attic and she wouldn't be discovered for another 25 years following an anonymous tip off. Blanche's lover died in 1885, yet the woman was kept locked up until 1901 when she was freed by Parisian police. She was found covered in food scraps and feces and laying on a rotten straw bed. Blanche weighed just 55 pounds when she was found. So just 25 kilos or just shy of 4 stone, very thin. The poor woman had been held hostage in her own filth for two and a half decades. Finally coming in at number 1, a truly scary attic story, we have the Spider Man of Denver. Theodore Edward Coneys was born in 1882 and committed murder in 1941, becoming known as the Denver Spider Man. Theodore became a drifter and was frail his whole life. In September 1941, he broke into a former acquaintance's house with the intention of asking him for 
for money. On arriving at 73 year old Philip Peters home, he had intended to steal food and money but in the end, he found a narrow attic cubby hole where he lived for 5 weeks, stealing food while Peter was out. One day Peter found him in the house and hit him with a cane. In return Theodore hit him and bludgeoned him to death, with a pistol beating him into a bloody pulp. Police found the elderly man's body the next day but Theodore kept on living in the home undetected for a further 9 months. He even drove out two other female residents who had become convinced that the house was haunted. It was haunted alright by the living murderer of their family member. Eventually the police did find the killer and he was sentenced to life in prison. He died in 1967. Well guys thank you so much for watching this video, what did you think? Which of these would you be the most scared of if you found it in your attic? Let me know in the comments section down below. For me, it's very much a hard no to snakes, bats, cancer in general, murderers and do you know what? Everything on this list. I don't like it. Okay before we get out of here I do just want to read some comments from the top 10 scary demons caught on camera. You guys love writing comments, I love reading them. Jonathan Esslinger said, I believe in a great many things including demons. I've experienced and seen way too much to believe or even think otherwise. Jonathan, do you care to elaborate? What have you seen? Ashley Smith wrote, I do believe in demons because one followed me home from an old prison in Philly. I don't know what happened to the demon now but I have not seen him for a couple of years. It's almost like when I moved out of the state, he stayed there. Classic demon behaviour, they really don't like to travel. So there's that. Okay, do leave me your thoughts on this video and maybe I'll read them out in a future one. For now though, I'm going to get out of here, I'm not going to go anywhere near the attic. Good job, I live in a basement. Ah, Thank you guys, leave a thumbs up, share it with a friend and I'll see you soon.